pilot race. <laughs> Alright, that's a bit silly. Okay. Hello and welcome to a somewhat unusual and somewhat special video. Uh, Stuart Warner C here at the Warbird event at uh, my local club. Amazing club. Really having fun with our warbirds, that's great. Speaking of which, um, something that uh, you would have uh, seen mentioned on the very recently released Avios Kingswin that uh, I've been working on with, the, uh, with my colleagues at Hobby King is its potential to, uh, what can we call it, a blank canvas. It's a relatively um, blank scheme with just the blue and the white. Uh, the potential to paint it up in any scheme you want essentially and as we're at a warbird event i technically would class this as a warbird this is a uh, king twin this is an old uh, original sample um, and i gave it to a club mate of mine called lars and i said lars just go to town on it and do a scheme so he's done it in a kind of uh, i guess you called it u.s navy training scheme uh, that the, the aircraft such as this may have worn it's not you know complete scale but it's just it looks really really nice um we'll have some photographs as well he's made a record of how he's done this i'm not sure where we're going to post those up but uh we'll try and get them on the on the World Wide web somehow but um he's kept the white pretty much as it is uh he took the blue off and he added the red and all the uh decals and markings that you see on here are actually from the uh albatross the albatross decal set so he made use of those too so all I'm going to do is, uh, first of all, give thanks to Lars because he's done an amazing job. And I'm going to do just a flight of this. The, the wind's, you know, reasonable. And uh, just uh, not much talking, just flying the uh, Avios King Twin, but in this custom scheme. You can see, you'll see in the air that it really, really pops. I'm really pleased with how it looks. And this one actually is going to be donated for the prize because we're doing combat here later on. And uh, this uh, custom King Twin will be the prize. So. Um, very much a case of just uh, showing you guys its potential. Here it is nicely painted up. Lars is a little bit upset because I've already chipped the paint a bit in transport. Sorry about that Lars, uh, but it's got some weathering now. So we're gonna fly this and uh, you'll see it in its full glory in this cool custom scheme. So as I mentioned, uh, this was not painted by me, it was painted by this gentleman, Lars here, fellow club Hello. member. And uh, I told you he was upset that I chipped the paint, so he's <laughs> touching up right now. So it looks all pristine for its flight. Thank you, Lars. I can uh, tell you that I also chipped it a bit there. Yeah, I see, I see. And a bit there. Yeah. So we'll be flying in a few minutes and it'll be perfect. Ready? Ready. Taking off. Scheme, half throttle, you know, wing it over a little. Uh, yeah, full power climb out. Colours look good, right? Camera loves it. Yeah. Lars, what do you think of the colours? That looks nice, very nice. It's it is very on scale. Well. Still turn off there. Okay, let's get well, let's get some fast passes done. It does. Oh yeah, see in the bank. That looks really nice. Full power. A bit of opposite rudder as I go into the turn there. And look at the underside of the colours. I'll show you guys the underside. Yeah, nice. Really, really nice. I'm going to put the flaps on and do a little low and slow. It's a 1700mm, it's a big model uh, for a foamy I think, and a twin, but it does fly slowly. Really, really nice. Hey, look, the sun just came out. I'm going to keep it on mid flaps. <laughs> a little bit of coordination in the turn there. There was a bit of wind. 
downwind now or crosswind. Where's the wind now? I think it's this way into wind, isn't it? Yeah, that red really pops. I mean, just to let you guys know, we did take a decision that uh, we could have done red and white, but we felt there was a few too many red and white models out there, so uh, we did put it white. But I think that close civilian scheme is a nice scheme. All right, flaps off. Go. Right, here we go. Sorry, I lost it for a second. Oh, it's all right. It's not that refined, this channel, remember, Andres? True. All right, and do a loop. Plenty of power, power off the top. And then roll, that's low rate. Around this way, all downwind at this point. Full power. Jubbly. Sounds good. Yeah, it does. Thank you for balancing those props. That reminds me. A little tip for everybody watching. The, the props are okay and the spinners are okay as they come out and roll them out of the, uh, out of the box. But some additional balancing will benefit. Less vibration, less noise. Just all around better. Do another slow pass. I'm going to bring it around. I'm going to go four flaps now. Four flaps. Downwind at the moment. Keep a little bit of power off. Coordinate the turn. Bit of rudder there just to bring the nose round. Oh. <laughs> and those props are really nice. Really, really nice. Keeping the full flaps on now. Pass this way. It's going to be a little bit faster. One more, pretty much into wind, because it looks so nice. And I like how the uh, the white, um, you know, end um, comes just as the the uh, engine the cells are there. The look of that is nice. Okay. All right, that is uh, flaps away. Do a fast pass this way. Other people want to fly, so I'm going to land soon. Keep it at full throttle, really turning and burning now. And now full throttle again. It's like a pile race. <laughs> Alright, that's a bit silly. Okay, gear's coming down. And I'm gonna land. Really like that skin. You got it there? Got it. Mid flaps, keep the nose down a bit. Coming in a bit hot. Ah, not so bad. So that's it. That is um, the Avios King Twin that uh, I've been working on with my colleague uh, Albert out of the Hong Kong office. A, uh, He's worked really hard on this and um, we're very, very proud of this. We both worked hard on it. This is an early pre-production version, so you've got clear uh, canopy now on the, uh, on the uh, production one and a few other changes here and there. Thank you very much for watching. Please uh, comment if you want to comment and like and subscribe and all that jazz. And uh, I'll have another video for you soon. Thanks.